on the double play is Omani Rain. Hi listeners of Hit Take Over Show with Jamie Josh. How are you doing? This is a girl Omani Rain. I'm glad to be part of this show of the double play and you're going to be listening to some of my jams and get to know about who I am. So let's get into it. Omani Rain is a Ugandan female artist who does songwriting, rap and sings sometimes. And I have been doing music for the past um, three years. Yeah. The artist that I would like to work with, um, Shiba. I'd like to work with Shiba because she's one of the female artists that really inspire me. She's so hardworking. And I'd like to learn a few things from her. And also, I like to work with Alien Skin. I love his vibe. And man, he mashes me up. And I also would like to work with Khalifa Ganaga. He's a very good writer and he has a vibe of his own, yeah. And who else that I really want to work with for now? I like to work with most of the young artists that you guys don't know about. They're, they're down there and they have really good talents, yeah. That's it. There are very many artists in Uganda I would like to work with. Um, what shocks me most about myself is my endurance and my consistency and my hard work and my ability to st- st- like keep going even when things are getting so like hard and tough. Like that's something I admire about myself and it shocks me. Looking how far I've reached, I couldn't believe that I'm here because it's not easy. But man, guess what? I'm also shocked I'm here, like, looking at where I'm from man, and how hard it has been. I don't even know how I do it, really. Where I think I'm at right now in my music career, um, I'm at the point where now I'm kind of getting the recognition and the attention that I was always praying for. So I just have to keep putting in the work and, you know, getting all this on lock people to know that I'm there, people to like be sure that now I am a very serious artist in Uganda who is trying to bring about a change in the game. Yeah, so where I think I'm at right now is a good place that now people are recognizing me and people are actually respecting my art and I give thanks. Uh, the song we're going to hear, it's called Jensula. The song you're going to listen to right now, it's called Jensula. And me and my friend came up with that song, Jensula, in studio. It's a love song and reggae vibe. So we came up with it, me and my colleague called Unity. And we were singing about, you know, having a crush on this person and everyone's crushing on them and, yeah, that type of, like, love triangle. And love uh how do you call it insecurity i don't know because i was saying single money energy like i'm so insecure i don't know if i'm going to get this person because everyone wants them and they're telling me uh things about them that i should stop liking them you know so it's kind of like a dilemma On the Hits Takeover Show with Jerem Josh. One thing I do appreciate most about music is music is a universal language. It brings together many, many people of different kinds and different ethnic groups and from wherever and races. So music is a joint language like it, 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 it combines all of us as humans, you know. Yeah, and that's one thing I really respect and love about music because I've heard people from different parts of this world comment about my song Nalumansi, which I expected to only catch attention of Uganda and since most of the language was in Uganda. So really, music is so amazing how it can connect us to different people. Um, the challenges that I face as, as an artist especially an independent artist is uh if you don't have money it's hard for you to do to achieve most of the goals in this in this game because you need money for promotion and stuff like that but also one thing i've learned is you have to do what you have to do to put yourself out there no excuses you know so but the hardest challenge is if you don't have money my goodness you will have the hardest time as an artist how I would like the public to define me, I would like the public to define me as a versatile artist 
and a Ugandan gem full of um, talent. Where I see myself in 10 years is I'll be one of Uganda's music export. I will have a big fan base and I will, I will make my country proud by then. Yeah, 10 years from now, musically, I'll be one of Uganda's proud music products. Yeah. Uh, my music taste is, uh, I love rap, I love, I mean, hip hop, I love pop, I love R&B, I love, I'm a piano, I love Afro beats, I love Afro sing, I love drill, um, I am, I, I, I am versatile with my taste, I love all good music, um, I love listening to the likes of Maddox, Chronics, Lila Ike, um, uh, uh, Popcorn, and, uh, Protege, um, Dej Loaf, uh, Erika Badu, uh, who else, this lady called, um, oh my god, I can't believe, Lauren Hill, yes, uh, yeah, and very, very more artists, there are very many artists that actually inspire my taste. Um, so we're going to listen to one of my favorite songs, um, that I wrote, uh, a year ago and it's called Nalumansi. It's making airwaves everywhere. People are loving it and I give thanks to God that it's receiving so much love. So I'd like you guys out there to listen to it and receive it with much love because it has a message and it's a beautiful song too. Yeah, so listen to this song called Nalumansi. Bless up. Yeah, 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 cut the track. Yeah, I'm a 